Here we go again. I don't know about you, whereabouts you are in the country or maybe even the world, but <coughs> is it wet where you are? Because this seems to be like almost a daily job now of emptying the rain meter out. Actually, I don't think I did this yesterday. I think I emptied this out before I went to Lama, but that was only two days ago. It's wet again. Well, morning world and welcome to a wet and very windy January the 12th. Um, didn't get a lot of sleep last night because the wind was literally battering. And I mean battering the house. So, you know when it... Well, if you don't live in an exposed area like we are a bit here. Um, when the wind hits the house and you feel it move, you, you feel the house move, you, you know it's windy. Okay, so... We've got a little bit of work to do down here. Yes, yeah, wet inside as well. Not as wet, but wet enough. Um, I was going to give the guys, these guys, a, a bail yesterday, but decided against it because they had still quite a lot left last night. They've chewed off most of it, to be honest now. So there's still a bit left in there. Let's give them a fresh one. Yeah, there's nothing very, nothing very delicious in there, is there? Go on then, in you go. In you go. Oh, this is gonna be one of those things where the idea of a small machine on the farm with a cab becomes quite appealing. I mean, it's not the end of the world, because I've got the waterproofs on. I shouldn't get wet, but it's just no fun. Right, bail for them. Um, actually, I will do a bail on this as well. I'll shut the gate. Shh. I'll shut the gate up here. Shut them in. Give these guys a bail too. That's the feeding done then. And then it'll be a case of uh, refresh the bed. That one's doing. What about this side? You shouldn't be too bad in here. Bit wet and mucky by the doorway, but over the back there, that's all right. It's dry enough. Okay, so I think we're going to be fairly limited for content, probably all week to be honest, because one, the little JCB machine that I was expecting to come yesterday has not arrived. Um, sadly, although they had the machine in stock, uh, somebody had pinched all the buckets, either for another demo somewhere else or. Well, for whatever reason, they didn't have the buckets. So there was no point in bringing it. So I got no content on that to show you. And it's so wet out there. I'm just not inclined to do a lot. There's nothing I can do with the tractor that won't make a mess, apart from shredding some green stuff. But that means standing up on top of the shredder in the rain. Done appeal. So uh, yeah, this could be another one of those um, somebody put out here today another boring video. Well, you know, sorry, but that's one of the prices of having a daily one. You know, a lot of our work is repetitive. I'll do, I'll do the same thing tomorrow as I did today, and you just got to hope that something interesting happens, like I fall over or 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 something.
why he's pinched into there. reach a bit now so we'll let them out change it back over and refresh their bed again yeah again The other thing we've got to do, we've got to tag that calf. Okay. 95. So, some of you might say, oh, 195, is that all the calves he's, he's ever had? Well, no, it's not. Um, the ministry changed the numbering system. Oh, was it about 10 years ago? When we went in with this new digits where we had a uh, one to seven on the first number, then followed by the, no it's, it's something to do with traceability or something. So, um, so before and before that, I think we were on something like 140. So, so it's not 195 calves that we've ever reared on the farm. If you add 195 to 140, that's nearer how many calves we've raised on this farm. So, yeah, a few. I mean, compared to the big dairy herds I'm rearing in 10, 15 years, what they do in well, one. Horses for courses. Right. 195, 195, 195, 195. Let's go and tag that calf. You digging holes in there? I really wish you wouldn't do that. Right. I need to confirm her tag number two, so let's see if I can let her out. Quite often they will go out by themselves. No, I don't want you in there. You gonna come out? Go on. Go on. Go on, out. Out. Good girl, go on. I don't want um, I don't want anybody else going back in, right? So I might see if I can be a bit sneak sneakier. Like that. 
so. Hello, little lady. Right. We have you there. I got half a chance of reading your mum's number there, aren't I? Eh? Yeah. Right, that's that bit done. I just need mum's number now. Come on, I'll do it here. No, you stay there, because I want mummy, mummy to look at you. I think that's 114. You just keep still long enough for me to have a look at that tag. Yeah, 114. Okay, that is that done. Okay, what we've got to do now is check everybody out. You two shouldn't be in there. Yeah, not what she said. Come on, out! You little, you little bugger. Go on, get out of it. Out. Go on, get out. 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 Go on, get out. <coughs> get out. Yeah, go on. Out. Go on, get out. Unnecessarily hard work that was. It's just unnecessary. Right. Fresh bed. How does Tom do it? Three, two, one. Just like that. Job's done. That is dry, tidy, not too drafty. They'll be at what do you mean you wanted to watch me do it? I've just done it by magic. You didn't have to watch. Oh, you wanted to watch me do it. All right. I'll go back in time and film it all again. All right. You had to do it the hard way, didn't you? This is me doing it. Anybody fancy a paddle? I might regret this. Do you know what it is when you buy your child his first pair of wellies and you introduce him to his first puddle and he's there or she in there jumping up and down no to hell with the wellies you're just going to get soaked i had for a moment just for a moment there i had that um i had that yeah in fact i might have to do it again right tree team just got back from fetching one of our trucks from MOT. It was the truck, Triple C. Um, the truck that I named Casey, and that Michael named Captain, and that somebody else named Colonel. So now, now it's known as Triple C, can we call it Captain Colonel Casey? Yes, children, but um, yeah, and for, we bought it last year with the new, well, newish MOT, and didn't expect an awful lot. I mean, it doesn't do an awful lot of work. But um, unfortunately for us, whoever did the last MOT was maybe not as um, thorough as our guy. And he found quite a few bits of what I'm doing. So, so uh, an MOT ended up costing 300 pounds. But you know what, at the end of the day, if that's the machine or the truck safe for another 12 months, I think 300 quid's actually, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cry about that. 
Go on, get in there. Get back over there. Right, that's the wet, mucky bit by the doorway done. I'm not taking anything out of it today. <coughs> I'm basically allowing that bed to build up a bit. We're gonna have TB in a couple of months. So it'll have to be cleaned out for then. But until then, letting the bed build up a little bit um, should hopefully help drain and keep them, keep them dry. So, right, ready? Oh, for a little pair of red wellies. Or maybe even froggy ones with the little eyes on. You know the ones I mean? Yeah. I would suggest though, if you visit the farm, you don't let your infant go in there. Don't think the wellies will be high enough. See, I think it's important to stay in touch with your inner child. Uh, something that apparently us blokes find a lot easier than, you, than the women. So, so in fact, from what I understand, some of us never grow up at all. Personally, within reason, don't see a big problem with that. Right, light coating of um, wood chip, and basically all that's to do is to um, clean the surface and then put a straw on top. And then they're ready to go. Okay, we've had some we've had some chip delivered. Oh, uh, well, I'll just push this up first. So we've been talking recently about potentially um, changing this machine or adding a machine um, to the portfolio for the farm, and maybe even going down the route of telehandler. But what I've noticed with all these telehandlers is they're not that powerful. They don't actually have, this is a 50 horsepower Yanmar in this. That um, great big class um, Tuscan that I had, I think was 75. So for the size of the machine, and I did notice that um, it wasn't that good at pushing up. I mean, this thing will push a house down. So am I going to be... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we're going to look at trying that little Gel or Manitou. I can't remember the model number now. We saw it at Lama. I'd like to try that, but it was a very small engine. It's half the size of this. So am I going to be able to do the same thing. I mean, yes, I'll, I will. I'm just going to have to do it differently. That's more a uh, pick it up, lift it and move it, where this thing is just a gruntly, it's like a bulldozer, just push it. So, yeah. So I think it's a case of I'm going to have to, if I do that, I'm going to have to adjust, well, to a different way of doing things. We bought that back. There's quite a lot of um, there's quite a lot of long strippy bits in that. That's usually a fairly good indication that your chipper wants its blades changing. So I don't think that's from ours. I hope not. So right, okay. You can see that on the camera, but I can see the changing colour. We're now into drier material, so this doesn't have to be spotlessly dry like I said before. So we're going to put straw on top. Three or four of these, a bit of straw, 
job will be done. Pick it up, pick it up. Not having it. It's because the string's still got it. I'll come back for that. I mean, we wouldn't want you to miss out, would we? You know? You wouldn't want to just take my word for it that it was done. Evidence. Right, they're going to kick the rest of that about themselves. I'll scatter that in the calf pen. And we're done in here. They tend to lie all around the outside. I mean, a few of them go in the middle, but yeah, mostly all around the outside. Where they can see mummy, touch mummy, but she can't really bother them. So, there you go. Happy days. Ready for some magic? about here and all right again boys and girls you can come back in now come on when you're ready go on out of the wet into the dry if you wonder why i don't put straw right up to the gate it's because as soon as they come in here you know, they put their heads down and stop so if i did it if i strawed right up to here they would stop there and everybody behind would be jammed out in the yard so that's why we don't start the straw too close. Besides that, that's safe. Weather's blowing this way, it's gonna get wet. They're not gonna lie down here. They're gonna lie down up there, out of the wind. That's it. Form an orderly queue, please, ladies and gentlemen. In your own time, thank you. Thank you, gently does it. Well done. Hello, grumpy. Yeah, your baby went that way. That's not too bad. 28 minutes past 11. Jobs are done. Well, this job's done. I'll come back down later on and give the bull and the guys out there a fresh bale. Uh, but like I said, they've actually got another couple of hours worth of feed in there. And if I just put a fresh bale on top of that, they'll eat the fresh bale. What they've not eaten at the bottom because they didn't want it because it wasn't wasn't quite how they wanted it. Um, yeah, I need them to finish it up because that is apart from the few black bales we got out there. That down there is all of our feed. That's what we've got left. I need that to last as long as I can. Although at the moment, they seem to be tucking into um, straw. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've got a funny feeling, like I said in the previous video, that before, by the time these guys get let out, 
I reckon. This barn will be empty, that barn will be empty, there'll be nothing out there. I may even have had to buy some in, so. Okay, they're happy. That's it, you can have your snack, I'm gonna go and have my breakfast. Brunch. That's actually there for you to lie on, not to eat, okay? Do you mind? Not really, he says. It's quite delicious. Oh, okay. If you insist. This is my daily therapy, this is. It's a therapy I call standing watching cows. Okay, it's good therapy, it works.